Welcome to your Research Business Daily Report, where we hope you all had a great weekend. Let's start today with some short news items. GFK MediaMark Research President and CEO Kathy Love is stepping down after 13 years on the job. That's effective February the 15th. USA Today and Gallup announced that they're going to be going their separate ways after 20 years. And the vibrancy of do-it-yourself research is no longer in doubt after SurveyMonkey initiated an $800 million debt and equity recapitalization. On to another subject, how clients need to and can build insight usage and acceptance. It came on my radar screen last week when Marco Vrains, the Managing Director of Strategic Analytics for the Modelers, told me about a regular problem going on with research departments, namely project conclusions and recommendations often being revised and misinterpreted because the research department is not represented at key meetings, especially those where decisions are being made. Marco experienced it when he worked at Microsoft. He's seen it happen many times since then, and he shared the following with us about the situation in general. You see it all the time. Uh, people, will, people will listen to your PowerPoint presentation or to your in-person presentation or uh, whatever it is, how you communicate your results. And they will then meet with other people and they will, they will basically retell that story that you just told them. And, uh, and that may, may or may not be accurate. So that's one instance. And, and in some cases, it's not going to be accurate. I've seen it. Uh, because so, sometimes these emails come back to me and I see what other people write about my research and I know it's not correct, right? I've also seen that people will take your, will take your PowerPoint deck and will represent it themselves without you being in the room to, a, to an entirely different group. And of course, if they retell it, they, they, will, they will retell it in the way that they think is, is best for them. And I've seen that happening as well. Yeah, I think one of the solutions is obviously um, you, you, need to, you need to have a culture of acting on validated insights. So and the whole way in which people and in which organizations make decisions needs to be I think needs to be done differently so that people really need to review a comprehensive set of insights. There needs to be a rebuttal process where you have an insights person in the room. But at the same time, I think, and this is something I think that is oftentimes overlooked, a lot of marketing research departments focus on the, on the skills of the people in their team, but simultaneously you need to look at the skills of the stakeholders and the decision makers who are the consumers of marketing research. And, and those skills are oftentimes not really adequate. After our taping with Marco, I just happened to read Avery Dennis and European Consumer Insights Manager Edward Appleton's thoughts on selling in insights at a client after the initial debrief. And it seemed a perfect complement to what Marco was talking with me about. In fact, Appleton confirmed the situation described by Vreens, tweeting to me, quote, it can be like a game of telephone where the findings are reported and changed with each telling end of quote. But Appleton went on to talk about follow-up meetings after debriefs where he said he's heard executives reveal new viewpoints and different data sets not heard or seen previously. Research professionals, he wrote in Quirk's quote, are required to be bold and on occasion outspoken, end of quote. And that, he said, is more likely to occur in a small or one-on-one -on -one setting. Appleton explained larger meetings are not good places to find out how tolerant of mistakes or different viewpoints an organization or department is. So, Appleton said that research departments should pursue, quote, a process of informing decision makers about insights more frequently, less formally, and in an ongoing dialogue. And as he summarized the situation, quote, though a project may be formally over, business challenges constantly change. Obviously, Appleton believes the research has to change, too. That's your Research Business Daily Report. Have a great research day, and we'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.